Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another hiatus vlog today. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is just as a reminder, I picked the two winners from last week's vlog, but they haven't gotten back to me. And I don't know if it's a problem with like YouTube emailing people when somebody replies to their comments because the contest I did a while ago, before this, I had the same problem. I ended up just like messaging three people and then, you know, because the other two people never got back to me, I didn't know how to get a hold of them. So uh, definitely, in this case, take a look and look and see if you left a comment last time. Uh, you know, then you're, you're one of the winners. Uh, so today, um, I just have more free stuff to share. <laughs> like, I don't really have a lot to talk about that is that super interesting this time, I don't think. But, uh, there, cause there's kind of two categories. So the first category is board game geek stuff. And then the second category is, turns out to be all miniature gaming related. So there's a bunch of links in the description, which I've been doing. Just take a look at the links uh, below for all this stuff. But board game geek put out a distance gaming guide. So, uh, a lot of the stuff that I've talked about in the last few weeks and in, especially last week with the geek list that I shared is kind of nicely organized in that distance gaming guide. So definitely take a look at that, that's really cool. And then there's also an online uh, games link too, which I've been talking about like Yukata and Tabletop Simulator. And there's a bunch of other stuff in there that I've never heard of as well, <clears throat> like smaller sites and things. So definitely take a look at those links as well. And then a couple of things, uh, all miniatures related. So this is kind of neat because some of this stuff um, I actually talked about in like my top 10 solo games video, which I didn't do that long ago. I'll put a link to that video too on uh, the description below uh, as well, because some of that, you know, might be useful right now. Um, so I'll just go through the list here just to kind of highlight it. Uh, the first two is for Age of Sigmar, which is my favorite game, and which I have played none of, I mean, in a while now, uh, especially with this lockdown, which stinks. But they have released two solo uh, like campaigns and modes and things like that. Now, one of them, the first one I'll talk about is like, has you need the Trogoth models, like the tr trolls in the Warhammer Age of Sigmar universe. That one's all right. I don't really have any Trogoth models. I have one, but it's not one of the ones that, you know, is, is mentioned in that, uh, that module. I mean, you could proxy, it's not a big deal. But the one they just announced today, like minutes ago, which kind of reminded me I should make this vlog, is if you have night haunt models and you know some other hero models basically if you have that soul wars box set that uh, they initially launched age of sigmar 2.0 with if you have that which hopefully a lot of people do uh then it has it seems like a really kind of neat uh campaign almost like a dungeon crawl um oh i'm having a brain fart what's the thing the the procedurally generated dungeon crawl uh, it's on the computer and it just kind of keeps making it. I, I, I forget. What, I, it's just, I, I know this. I just can't think of it. But it's a type of dungeon crawl where you just keep going and as long as you can until you die and kind of score that way. And it's all procedurally generated. So it kind of feels like that with miniatures. And you use like a war cry board, um, which is just a small board. But you don't need that war cry board if you don't play war cry. Just a, it's a small space. You can just kind of, you know, do it on your kitchen table or whatever, coffee table even. And, uh,. Yeah, it seems really neat. So those two are from Games Workshop for uh, Age of Sigmar, which is really neat. And then a couple of more. The next one I'll talk about is for a game called Kings of War uh, Vanguard. They've released their whole rule set for free. And I have a copy of the rules, and I've been painting up a little bit haphazardly. But a couple of weeks ago, I was finishing up some of the Kings of War Vanguard, which is like skirmish, sort of a kill team, war cry level uh, game, but they have like a big rank and flank game, which is just the proper Kings of War. And they sent me along the rule book for that. Now it's rank and flank with bases and, you know, pivoting and all that kind of stuff, which man, I've not really enjoyed, <laughs> but a lot of people really seem to like that style of game. And so you can get the rules for free now and take a look at them. And it's, it's cool because it's a miniature agnostic rule set. So if you've got Age of Sigmar models laying around and you've got some MDF boards or something that you can you can throw together, pull the rules down and you know you can uh, play around with it and see how it goes. So I thought that was a neat thing uh, that they could do. So you know you can maybe work on the army and learn the game and uh, you know by the time this lockdown stuff is over whenever it's over 
then uh, you kind of be ready to play a couple of games there. So I thought that was a nice gesture of them to put that PDF out uh, for that game. And then two other games. I'll talk about the first one, which I did mention in my top 10 solo games. And it's a game called Warlords of Erewhon. And that game is actually, I think, soloable anyway because it's a chip pull or a dice pull out of a bag. So you can tactically make choices uh, pretty easily on the fly there. And so it kind of lends itself to being a soloable game anyway. But they came out here. Let me just open this again to refresh my memory. This was a few days ago they came out with this. And it's a similar to kind of what the uh, solo Age of Sigmar rules were from last week. Have, they have some new monsters that you can add in and then some new rules kind of for driving that whole scenario. And so you can fight against uh, monsters and that kind of stuff. So that's a really cool thing uh, that they've done as well. And again, I'll have links to all this stuff. Now you'll need kind of the rules for uh, the base game in this case, um, which you can get as a PDF or you can get the book as well. And I did a review for this game if you're not familiar with it. It's a, it's a smaller known game, but it's based on the uh, uh, bolt action uh, st style game there. So anyway, there's, there's rules for that. And then a similar style game, which is has been out, but they just did a Kickstarter not long ago. And then the Kickstarter rules are coming out. Uh, oh, sorry, they had another Kickstarter. I think they had two Kickstarters. Anyway, the game is called Star Breach. And it's a similar kind of dice pull system. It's very much like a bolt action style game, but kind of grafted onto something like a kill team. And I should say Warlords of Erewhon and this Star Breach game are model agnostic. Although the Warlords of Erewhon folks, the Warlord games, they have their own models which you can buy as well. But there's there's no rules for it. You can use whatever you want. So the Star Breach thing, the solo rules are free. Um, now you can get the PDF of it. I think that's I think it's pretty cheap. It's like sometimes it goes on sale for like ten bucks, and I actually backed that Kickstarter. Uh, to get like a you know a soft cover actual rule book and stuff, but it looks really neat. I've watched some battle reports of Star Breach, and like I said, it's like a lock and load dice pull kind of thing, but small skirmish kind of kill team Necromunda style uh, style game there. So anyway, that's a bunch of free stuff that I've learned about over the last week or so, and that's all I really have to to talk about gaming related. Um, you know, uh, I really appreciate all the comments and the feedback I've gotten over the last uh, several weeks. Uh, we've had, tra and for those of you interested or whatever, we hit, we've had traction on housing. So hopefully moving can start, you know, this whole thing. It's just this, everything is just crazy. You know, my concerns about moving are like the least important thing in the world right now. Uh, but it's a personally <laughs> aggravating thing, but it looks like we have some traction there. So my next vlog might be like uh, mid move or mid packing or hopefully get fingers crossed, right? You know, keep your fingers crossed for me. Um, but things are moving in that direction. So that's good. And you know, just, just to kind of the personal note, I try to share on each one of these um, this last week, I've just been like a bubbling cauldron of irritability, um, you know, and uh, just in general, like, um, my kids have moved out, so it's just my wife and I here. Like, we've been getting along fine, but, like, it's just, like, whenever my, 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 my gaze and vision or my, whatever my consumption is, is pointed to the outward, outside world, it's just, man, it's just, it's almost like, I don't say this lightly, but, um, it's almost like a panic attack. Like, I'm not, ha I've had panic attacks a long time ago. I'm way past that, but... It's like you get that feeling, and so, yeah. If you if you're feeling like that at all during this time, like I I appreciate it, and you know I'm right there with you, and there ain't nothing wrong with you. Um, yeah, but especially you know when this stuff kind of started, I was like I was like okay, you know, kind of taking it in, taking it in stride. Like I said, I've not really had anybody. Um, uh, it's like it's almost like it's like hits closer and closer and closer to home. Like as the days go along, you know, it's kind of like you can see as the the virus spreads, it's like it starts in China, you're like, oh, it's far away, you know, da, 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 and it hits here, it gets in Seattle, it gets in New York, New York gets hit hard. You know, you start to get cases in your own county. You start to to know people, like I got, like I said last time, nurses and EMTs and everything, and, and you know, um, I got some relatives that know people, per, you know, directly, so I kind of know people third hand. So it just, like, it gets closer, and it's just the whole, you know, dialogue about everything it just gets more and more frustrating in a lot of ways 
And the one thing I wanted to kind of leave you with, what sort of uh, got me over that hump and over that burden was, I keep thinking back to, and honest to God, this is what kind of gets me going. Because, you know, I've got my wife and my family here and stuff, and so I, I see them all the time. <laughs> But I haven't been able to do my game group, and obviously I'm, I'm not sure that Gen Con is going to happen. And like I'm just like living for that moment with all of these people, and some of the people watching this video, and some of my friends online, and especially my game group here locally. Like that first time I see you, like I'm not even going to know what to do. Like I'm just going to be, like you know, where are we going to be at? Am I, am I going to run up and hug you? We're going to shake hands. And there was, I think the doctor, um, Dr. Fauci or something said that maybe we should get rid of shaking hands in general. And, uh, and I was like, yeah, I was like, okay, that's fine. Maybe it's a safe thing. But I was like, what are we going to do? Like, how are we going to adapt to, to what, what, what is that going to be? Like, it's just such a strange, like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do to you. <laughs> like, what are you going to do to me? You know, when we see each other, like, but I'm gonna be so happy, that's all I know. I'm just gonna be the happiest person in the world when I can show up to game night, when I can show up to Gen Con, when I can show up to, uh, you know, if I go to a, a music concert or anything like that, you know? Like, I'm just gonna be so happy to be in a place where you can have like that community, that fellowship level thing. And like, it's just, yeah, so that's what like, once I started just kind of focusing on that of like, that's that light at the end of the tunnel, whether that's this summer or next summer or whatever, like that's the beacon. Like I just grabbed onto and was like, okay, here we go. And I don't know how I'm going to act. I don't know how anybody's going to act, but I'm looking forward to whatever that moment is. Maybe we'll do like a haka dance or something uh, or whatever it is. Like, what are we going to do? I don't know, but I'm looking forward to it. And that's going to be a good thing. Anyway. So there's some free stuff. And uh, take care of yourselves for another week. Again, if you put a comment in last week, take a look. You know, maybe I replied to you. So, okie doke. Take care of yourselves. Thank you.